My, 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 one of the best topics ever for me. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Uh, if you have read any of the Think Like a Man books or men are from Mars and women are from Venus, well, you just want to know why they think the way they do. Why, child? Our next guests have got you covered. These three guys have taken their business savvy and marketing genius and used it to create the woman only tour. Ooh, please yes. welcome Dale. Praise to the, the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, God, God, for the women. Kenny Burns and Steve Canal. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you for having us. It thank is you, thank so you, thank good you. to have you all Ooh, here. You mm, know, good to see you again. Uh, it's always a pleasure, and especially when we're talking about this yes, yes. relationships. Why are they so? taxing and why cannot women cannot we just don't understand the men we don't understand y'all we try to be everything for you then you take advantage of us you don't appreciate oh, us Lord, dear Lord, baby Jesus, anyway, bring us here we skirts. go how did, you guys, how did you guys come together and how did you think about the concept of taking this out onto the road so uh our dear brother uh Anaton has a book called the gray and he had a, an event called exhibit gray here in atlanta and they put together a panel and um they invited myself and a couple other the key figures in Atlanta to speak on the panel. Uh -huh. And it was this one woman who just didn't like one of my answers. <laughs> What and answer was it, Kenny? You know what? I was just telling women how they have the superpower. They're in control. They're maternal. They give life. Mm -hmm. you well, that's own. a good answer. That's yeah, not you, true. I, I said that. that. I said that's that. That's good. And she got emotional. She can't. I got a PhD. I don't need a man for nothing. Ah! Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> and we were like, wait, what's, what's the problem? Like, you know, and so long story short, we ended. We huddled up. We like, we got to find her. Right. We went to try to find her. She, she was, was ghost. ghost. Really? God. And I was just like, what, did we date in high school? Did, did right. I, not, I, I was confused. <laughs> right. And so, in the audience yes. strategically. And so we just yeah. decided that we wanted, because we're married men, I've been married 20. Seven. Five. Do your thing. Oh, yeah, hello. Hello. The he dream is real. Kenny loves yes, his absolutely. wife now. I, yeah. I mean, down to the floor. And I think that he at does. the end of the day, it's just necessary to have a conversation with men who actually are in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, you know, your women want you, your, your women friends, your man yeah. friends, your friends friends, yeah. just want you to be okay in that moment. We want to give you some tools to yeah. take with you and try to apply. And yeah. not only in it, but have been those guys yeah. prior yeah. as mm -hmm. well. 100%. So we've been through it. Well, I ain't been like him who take him to church the next day after we're back in the, that's a whole other thing. You gotta come to the You gotta come to the tour. Wait, but who took somebody to church? Yeah. You go uh, on a date with the girl on Saturday and Sunday morning, you take her to church? I used to have like a, I used to feel bad about my one night stand, so I'd take him to church the next day. Okay. Another conversation. And ask God to forgive you for all of your mess. That God today. <laughs> <laughs> you took the confession to the confession. Another conversation. My God today. I'm a tour. good man. Well, another tour. Speaking of being good men, you're all happily married yes. um, and very successful businessmen. Yeah. Right. Would you say that a, a happy marriage has been uh, instrumental in your success mm -hmm. as hap as successful businessmen? A thousand percent. It's that, it's that battery in your back, right? Mm -hmm. Like my wife makes me so much better than I am. Like she taught me that. I don't have to do it alone. Cause you know, a lot of men, they feel like they don't have it all together. They don't have enough money. They don't have their ish yes. together. So mm -hmm. they feel like they need to have everything together before they make that next move. My wife taught me, let's build together. together. Yes. And, together, honey. and I'm way I'm better. And I know these brothers could speak as yeah. well. Like yeah, we're way absolutely. better off married than when I was doing it by myself. Mm. And, and it sharpens up your skills as well. right? Yeah. Because in order for relationships to work, you have to communicate, mm -hmm. right? It made me such a better, much more better communicator mm -hmm. in a relationship, right? Yeah. Focusing on the details and being able to focus, focus on, on one the details. Thing, right? I like that. You yeah, see, Quad over here getting super analytical because <laughs> this didn't happen. <laughs> he did not do this. Yes. Right? Focus and he forgot that. Mm -hmm. And I don't understand. And I showed him everything. I showed him I was the one and he just didn't do right. Anyway. What? I, what? I'm just saying, I've got to read the next question. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> the tour. Let's get back to the tour. Yes. So you all are traveling across the country and, and letting every woman who signs up, buys a ticket and, and has a pair of ears mm -hmm. come into uh, the man's psyche, right? The men's psyche. What is the number one question that you get from women about men? Um, you know, I think one of the biggest questions is obviously why do men cheat? Um, and What's the answer, Kenny? You know, it's so funny you say that. Um, <laughs> I Let's think just it's get because that question and answer. no, That's absolutely. Answer. So we had a question in, in our New York um, FWO, and it was a young lady. You know, they're fearless more mm -hmm. than ever, um, and she was just like, you know. What is the you know what is it that makes a man cheat? You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Is it mm -hmm. a physical or is it an emotional thing? Mm -hmm. I said I think all people cheat emotionally when you go take your business outside your house. Mm -hmm. Even if you take it to your mama or your whoever, daddy or because right. see you Absolutely. get this information from people and sometimes it's not really 
the answer to the problem. Ooh. It's a comment or an opinion. Ooh. And I think that, you know, if you think about that, that's, you know, that's real, real tea, right? Mm -hmm. But then also, too, it's like the physical part. You know what you're doing or not doing in your relationship. Mm -hmm. If you met someone a certain kind of way and you hold this relationship dear, whether it's sexually, physically, mentally, whatever it is, and then you stop that, you're peeling back, you know, layers. And you got to really identify with yourself, like, okay, I'm not doing this in a relationship anymore. Mm -hmm. So I need to adapt and adjust or I know what the potential could be or what could happen mm -hmm. if I don't. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why people cheat. Ooh. Now, speaking of these questions, mm -hmm. two <laughs> questions you say you come, that come up a lot are, can men be faithful, and mm -hmm. who's more likely to get away with cheating, men or women? Yes, black men don't cheat, and women. Because women are so... I don't do. stop saying that, Anna. I, <laughs> I mean, well, well look at I her. Agree. Listen, let's go I'm with that. I'm trying to hear let's, the details. Let's, let's promote that the narrative so that that can be the narrative. Wouldn't you like that to be the narrative? I, I like Quad, that. You ain't ready for Quad? No. I mean, <laughs> we, we, we had a great discussion. We always have a great discussion. But what, what I'm simply say? saying is, yeah, I, you know, I do. I like to believe that men can be faithful, okay? Right. I, re I really do. I really want to believe that. I really want to believe that they have enough discipline and wherewithal to know that what they have created at home is yes. much more better on, and wherewithal. valuable than what they're playing with in the street. Yes. I really want to believe that, okay? It always don't happen that way. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not a common thing. Like I, I believe that. I, got I believe yeah, that. Yeah, like right. a lot of that deal. You have to deal with yourself, right? Like who dealing with who? Men have to deal with themselves. Let, let me, yeah, let me, you have to me, conquer. You have to conquer yourself. Yeah, right. conquer yourself. Let, let me help you out. See, bottom line, oh, you know what you signed up for? Sometime, quiet. You know, people what? be lying to themselves. Ooh. The real problem. Yes. yes. Let me tell you what happened. My wife told me when we was dating. She said, "I fell in love with what they all fall in love with. Just don't bring it to my house because women don't want to do what? Be what?" feel insecure, feel like, you know what I'm saying, that you're not safe, that you're not protected, mm -hmm. or embarrassed. Mm -hmm. But the problem is you go through the trajectory as you grow, you stop dating, you get married, and you said what you said was the truth. That's the truth. You know your man. Right. So what are you going to do to keep your man? And the same for women. you got to keep your woman at a certain, you know what I'm saying, comfort level for her to be committed 100% and in tune with you. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem we all forget. We get into these relationships and you forgot okay, this person was in the street when I met him. Mm. Oh, she was in the street when I met him. Oh, they was out here throwing parties and whooping and whopping and around all these celebrities. You, mm -hmm. you yeah. forgot that? Even with that, I think it's a personal journey as well. Like, yeah, it's I, really about dealing with that person in the mirror, right? Uh -huh. Like, the per you could have the greatest relationship, Halle Berry, every Beyonce. These people got, you know, had, they had infidelity in their relationship. Uh -huh. Ultimately, it's truly the, the individual, right? It's, it's whether or not the man or woman says to themselves, I'm going to commit to this relationship, and that that's a personal journey. It has how less to do, do with know? the person. How do you know? How much time do we have? We have time. Because I, I had a good old question, quad. too. I was yeah. going to ask a good old question. I yeah. can't because we got to go. She got a oh. car with nothing on it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that means, that means it's over. Question, it? This is a big <laughs> topic. The potential. When do you know you have the potential one, the right one, the man, the right woman, the right man? Well, I mean, we got to go, child. Kenny Burns and Steve Canal, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, in the time, with us today. This was both fun and insightful. For more information on that woman, only tour, you can follow them on the ground at WO Social Club.